What's up guys and welcome to Predications Daily Tech Tips. In today's tech tip you're learning how to edit videos on your iPhone. And these are normally simple videos you've taken with your iPhone. And you just want to do a few quick simple edits, not necessarily with iMovie or any third party apps. Just a simple edit tools available on your iPhone. And here's how to do it. So find that video, for instance, this is a video of my friend Kala uh, making that slow-mo jump on that ramp. Very nice video, but I want to do simple edits on it. Now, as you scroll through your gallery and find that video, the first thing you need to do is tap on edit in the top right corner. So tap on edit, and that should open for you a myriad of options that you can use to edit this simple video. Now, the first option is to trim, and you can see that little dot on the video icon, and that means you're ready to trim. Now, the trim section is right here where you have these arrows facing outwards. So those are actually sliders that you can use to slide the video to exactly where you want it to start from the left. For instance, I want mine to start uh, right there. And I want it to end right there. So before you actually trim, just press play and it's gonna play within the boundaries of your trim. And you can do that to confirm it starts exactly where you want it to start and it ends exactly where you want it to end. So mine ends right there. And it looks good so from here you can move to the next step where you can adjust things like exposure highlights shadows contrast brightness black points saturation all that stuff even warmth and temperature it's crazy there's so much you can do with these videos so for instance if i want a bit more saturation simply select saturation just like that and then i use this slider to move and you can see the saturation changes so I can just put it exactly where I want to put it, just like that. And then I can move on to the next thing, like vibrance. So as soon as I select what I want to adjust, for instance, if I want to adjust vibrance, use the slider at the bottom there to either add or reduce vibrance. Same for warmth, just like that. Use a slider, put the video exactly where you want it. Tint, all these things you can adjust uh, in your video. And every time I finish making my adjustments, I can simply go back to the video icon and play it and see how it looks with my new adjustments. There you go. It looks awesome. Now, the next step is to add filters. Now, even with those adjustments, you can still add filters and your iPhone gives you very many filters that you can choose from. You can have this dramatic cool, mono, silver stone, no, which is basically just black and white. And before you select any filter and confirm it, simply select that filter, go back to video, play the video and see how it looks before you decide to, you know, complete the, the edit. Now, if you don't like it, simply go back and change to another one, then go to video and play again and see how it looks. Now, the fourth and the last option is for cropping and rotating your video. Now, this automatically gives borders around your video. So you can push down or sideways these borders to crop that video. For instance, if I want a landscape looking video, I can simply push that and push that there and probably have a square video. Even I can push it a little more to have sort of a landscape video, depending on what I want really. If I want to get rid of unnecessary parts of the video, I can do that easily, just like that. And then once again, go back to the video and play and see how it looks now when it's trimmed or cropped, basically. There you go, it looks awesome. So I can go back there now and then choose this option to rotate the video along a vertical axis. So I can just use the slider to basically just rotate it on a vertical axis. Actually, it's a horizontal axis. The video is rotating vertically, which means it's a horizontal axis. The next one, is a vertical axis so the video is going to rotate horizontally just like that depending on how i want to is it rotate or skew the video just like that now i'm not going to use any of those and then lastly at the top there you have two options now this first option will either invert your video so that it looks like it's recorded from the other side and again just go back to video see how it looks you can see it's now inverted Can go back and choose to also rotate this video through 90 degrees so tap on that once that will rotate it 90 degrees another 90 degrees 
another 90 degrees, another 90 degrees, and it's back to where we started. Now, also, if you're very particular with aspect ratios for your video, this is the option right there. As soon as you tap it, it's gonna go to yellow, and you're gonna get options down there. So you can have a square video, you can have a 16 by nine aspect ratio, whatever you want to have as the aspect ratio of your video. If you don't like any of those, you can revert to original by tapping original, and it's gonna go back to original. Now, personally, I want to post this on Instagram, so I'm gonna go for the square one, and then I can simply push the video to just fit exactly where I want it in the square. So again, like I mentioned, everything you do, simply go back to video, play the video, see how it looks, and then you can decide if you really want to keep that particular edit or you want to redo it or maybe just reset it to original. Now the very last bit is sound. Now with the video icon selected, there's a sound icon at the top left corner there, so you can choose to either tap on it to mute the sound in the video or tap on it again to include the sounds in the video when you are recording. So that's probably up to you. Now at this point we're done editing unless you want to go an extra mile like add text, add music to the video and things like that. If you want to do that you can tap on this option and go to iMovie and edit in iMovie. But at the beginning of this video I said this is a simple edit so no iMovie. I'll probably do a whole other video on how to edit in iMovie. But as far as the simple edits on your iPhone is concerned, this is it. We are done. So tap on done in the bottom right corner and you get two options right there. So you can save video and save video basically converts the video to your new video with the edits you just made. Save video as a new clip will keep the original video and now create another video with the edits you just made. So I always like to save video as a new clip and give it a few seconds. It says preparing video, so give it time. And now we can play our video. There you go. So luckily we still have our original video. If you don't like our edit, we still have the original. We can go through that process all over again. So original video, edited video, and I can bet it looks really, really cool. Anyway, that's how to do simple edits on your video and how to edit iPhone videos. Thanks for watching. You can leave your comments and questions down below and maybe let me know if you want to see a whole tutorial on how to use iMovie to edit videos on your iPhone. But as far as this video is concerned, that's it for now. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.